Today is January 26th, 2014, and this is another super storm coming through the burbs of Cleveland, Ohio. So I'm going to check it for some radiation. 100 minutes, 6,000 seconds, and I'm getting 4,291 counts. 6 counts is the max data point. The average data point is 0.72. So if you've been watching the videos, you know my background in the burbs of Cleveland, Ohio, USA is 0 0.50. So yes, we have black snow. Don't know where it's coming from. I can't identify it yet. It's still calibrating the Gamma Spectacular. But uh, for anybody that believes that nuclear energy is clean, safe energy, this is proof that it isn't. Our snow should not be radioactive. Alright, here it is outside. And what I'm going to do is place this up in the tree here to do a background. So let me set this up. And I'm going to pick this up here. Take a look at what it looks like. Yep, beautiful. Got the reading without uh, getting it right on there. So let me get this in the tree and do a background. Alright, here's how I got it set up for background. January 26, 2014, and this is the background reading for the snow of January, and that is 100 minutes, 6,000 seconds, and then I picked up 3,247 counts, 5 count is the max data point, average data point is 0.54, so it's a little bit, a little bit higher than normal background, but since it's outside and the wind is blowing, that might be uh, part of the reason, but still definitely below background so we'll subtract it and find out what the difference was and there she is hanging out in the tree My conclusion on the radioactive black snow that is falling down in Cleveland, Ohio, USA, and across America in 2014 is most likely coming from nu the release of um, uh, radiation from nuclear facilities. The EPA has established standards for the maximum amount of tritium and probably also other isotopes that may be released by nuclear facilities. This stuff, it says that it may end, it may be found in drinking water. Of course it's going to be in the drinking water. So it's in the air, it's in the rain, it's in the snow, it's everywhere. So here's proof that the uh, nuclear industry that claims to be uh, clean energy is a big scam and a fraud because this pro probably is most likely where this radiation is coming from but I also think it's also coming from Fukushima because that's just like a nightmare over there and last time I had a reading of 0.58 this time I've got a reading of 0.72 so there's definitely more radiation um, was it three weeks later because I did that test the first week of January 2014 and this is the 26th so three weeks later there's definitely way more radiation in the snow so this is no joke and I would say if you got children don't let them play in it don't let your children throw any snowballs there won't be no snowmen this year you can't blame me, you can't even blame Elvis, 
It's Tepco who's ruined Christmas this year. All right, now this is a nuclear emergency tracking center, and this is exactly probably where the uh, radiation is coming from, and this is why I say it. If you look anywhere around the world, uh, this will do the world, and it's usually from 10 to maybe like 100, 200, 300 is even starting to get high. But look at this. Here's Fukushima, and if you zoom in here, this is exactly why I think, I should say this is, is where I think the radiation is coming from. If you look at Fukushima here, this is Daiichi. And look at these readings. They're 2,600. That's 40, uh, 4,700. 5,200. 4,700. 5,000. These must be monitors around the station. Um, 2,500, 2,700, 2,900, Fukushima. But if you look in the smack dab in the middle here, this has been the highest one. The high is 150,000. I think this is uh, sieverts, an hour. And I think is the number, which is that number there. 143,000 sieverts an hour is coming out of Fukushima. This is what they're testing at. And then if you go downwind, there's Daini. I th I'm pretty sure. Let's see what that's. Uh, look at that, 300. So they don't have the problem. At, there's 500, but they don't have the kind of problem at Daiichi or at Daini as they have at Daini. Dai they don't have the problem at Daini as they have at Daiichi. Because you could see the numbers at, at uh, Daiichi, those are ridiculous. And that is where the um, the wind is blowing down in Awaki. Aw Awati? No, there is it. Awaki. Now check this out. This is south of Fukushima. And right now it's 80, but look at what the high for the day was. 21,000. So there unless some fuel rod no it can't be no fuel rods blew all the way to Hawaii because it would always be that high that's why you have the current is 80 the low is 70 21,000 is the high for the day and that's because you're getting bursts of plumes coming down from Fukushima that's the radiation that's getting picked up at this monitor right over here. They actually should put more monitors around this whole place. But then that is why that is the radiation that's getting put into the uh, atmosphere and coming down in this black snow in Cleveland, Ohio, USA. Background, radioactive Cleveland snow. Background, radioactive Cleveland snow. Background, radioactive Cleveland snow. Background, radioactive Cleveland snow.